Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. Let's make it a great one. Always do your best, but don't overdo it. Always do your best, but don't overdo. When you overdo, you deplete your body and you go against yourself. And it will take longer to accomplish your goal. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down four, NASDAQ off 12, SP's down seven, gold contract up a dollar 20, traded at 1,254 an ounce. Silver up 13 cents at $17.48 an ounce. Platinum flat at $9.65 an ounce. Light sweet crew down 66 cents at $49.78 a barrel. Bonds, the 10 year note up five ticks, 130.03. 30 year bond flat at 165.03. King dollar down 177 ticks, trading at 96.59. The euro is at $1.11, and the yen is trading at 103.50. Our phone number is 877 9276648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? We take a look at the SPY. Sideways move. We've been going sideways since September 9th. We are at 215.27. Bottom line, can't bust them up, can't bust them down. Uh, we take a look at this on a weekly. And what you're going to have, same type of setup. You're going sideways with light volume. We're at $215 in the 28 cents. Uh, bottom line, you can, you can expect more sideways movement next week as we come into the earnings season. Bottom line, the jobs number didn't do a thing to the market. Uh, come in a little light, but bottom line, didn't do a thing. Dow Industrials, same setup in the Dow Industrials. You're down 10 bucks. That's a sideways movement. Uh, the high that uh, the Dow has been trying to get into is 18404 and just can't handle higher price. And guess what? Uh, lower prices not handling either. There's not enough sellers. NDX. No, first the NASDAQ composite. Composite, we're at down 14 bucks. This is also an inside day. Uh, you're at 52.92 and the high is 53.42. Uh, we take this and we put this on a uh, weekly and you know what, next week some, at some point it's going to go test these highs once again. Uh, the NASDAQ, comp the NDX 100. What do you have with the NDX 100? Same type of setup on the NDX 100. Sideways move out here. You're down eight bucks. We're at 48.65. The high is 48.95. The low of that high is 48.76. Uh, same type of setup, meaning sideways movement uh, with light volume. Gold contract. What do we have with gold? Gold contract out here, trading at a price point of 12.54.70. We hit a low today of 12.43. You hit a high of 12.67, so we had a price spread of $24. And uh, bottom line is that I'd, I'd want to see, well, we definitely want this to stay above uh, the 12.52.90. That's what it was testing both yesterday and today. It got above it. That says that uh, it will try to get up into the 12.64 level, and uh, I suspect gold's going to actually bounce to about 13.05. We take a look at the silver market. What do we have with silver? Same type of setup in silver. The, in the metals market today, we'll go through this with the dollar, uh, has been deviant in a huge way. There's no doubt about it. But what, what you do have is that the sellers are out of that market. Um, silver. What do we have with the silver market? Silver got down to a price point today of $17.11. It did reject that level. Uh, it's in, back inside the $17.25, which is Brexit day. I suspect silver is going to try to bounce up into this uh, $18.60. Now, what is that all about? Well, okay. So the jobs number come out, little light on the jobs number. The, all the Fed governors seem to think that that's all right. Um, bottom line, the bond market's not saying that, folks. The bond market rejected lower price. Uh, we did, we've done 1.3 million contracts in the 10 year, which is good volume. Uh, there's no doubt about that but you're going into 1.44 million. So you're going to reject the swing low, which was $129.26. We went to 129.23. We are at 1.3 million contracts versus 1.4. So rejected it, has light of volume. 
back in the range again. And what that sets up is that, guess what? That sets up a run back up to the 130, 123. We take a look at the 30 year, 30 year, same type of setup, pretty wild. Um, USC, 30 year. 30 year bond out here. Got to a low today of 164.08. We've done 291,000 contracts and the 164.13 was the level. Uh, bottom line, 346,000 contracts. Yeah. Okay, so we've done 291. You did less than the, the 346. You're back inside the range, same type of setup. Deviant, that, that, that move is just pretty wild because that is saying that the market, once again, wants higher price in the notes and the bonds, which is lower yield. King dollar, what do we have with king dollar? Okay, so king dollar, been on a nice run top side. Uh, king dollar in the last uh, few weeks went from a price point of 94.95 up to 97.21. King dollar is going right into its downdraft that had been created out here on the 27th of July. And bottom line, had lighter volume, gave it up in price. And what this sets up, this sets up King dollar starting to make its way back into. First, we'd see we're at 96.59. 96.39 would be the next stop, but I suspect it's going to try to get, get somewhere into the next level. Well, we'll see what happens. The $96 level, which is only 590 ticks down, looks game first. But if it gets into that um, price point, then you'd already come down to 94. And what that's all going to be all about, I expect, is that as we get closer to the December time frame, uh, the market's going to dictate, uh, is that quarter point rise actually going to go? Uh, the Fed Fund futures rate uh, thus far is saying that uh, the probability is high that it's going to go, meaning 64% uh, is the probability of a quarter point rate hike on December 14th. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in the all world. We have the Dow Industrials down 7, NASDAQ down 13, S&P's uh, down 7. We're going to be right back, folks. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full custom capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. 
Until recently, it was almost impossible for the average investor to hedge against currency risk in Europe or Japan. For a bold trade on Europe or Japan that protects against moves in currency, trade HEGE or HEGJ, two times currency hedged leveraged ETFs from Direction Investments. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC.